And there. Now, do you have everything from lesson A? I didn't do it, teacher, this lesson. I did lesson D. But what about A? No, lesson A, no. What about lesson B? I didn't do it. I did do it, but I did it in the other notebook, but in this not. In the other notebook? What do you mean? I don't have this notebook. You don't have this book? Yes, I have, but in my cell phone, I wrote this lesson. Well, let's go, let's do it one by one. Okay. Okay. Going away, getting ready. Where are they going? Number one, my friends are planning a trip to Ecuador. What is the answer? They want to learn Spanish. No. Right there. Oh, I'm sorry. They want to learn Spanish. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay. Next, number two. They are going to call a hotel near the airport. Um, Um, they want to make a reservation for one night. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Next, number three. Uh, then they need to change some money. Let us see. Next, number four. For letter A, they wanted to learn about Learn more about the country. Search. Number five. Um, they need to start. They want to find a chief lights. And six. B. They want to buy some travel size. Toiletries. Very good. Next. Wow, that's a nice picture. Combine the sentences and write one sentence for each pair of sentences in part A. My friends are going to Ecuador to learn Spanish. What about number two? White teacher. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, ma, they are they are want they are want okay yes They are going 
to call a hotel near the airport to make a reservation for uh, one night. Perfect, one more time, they are? They're going to call. They are? Uh, a hotel near the airport. Continue. To make a reservation for a one night. To make a, a reservation. Continue. For a one night. For a. No, one. for one. And not. One. For night. one night. They have to go to the bank because they need to change some money. One more time. They have to go to the bank. Continue. Because they need to change some money. Nope. Uh, but to change, to change. One more time. They have to go to the bank to change some money. Uh -huh. Next, number three. They both a weight book. They both a uh, weight book. Guide book. Guide, Guide book. Yeah. To learn, a, to learn more about the country. Okay, next. They need to do some research. To find cheat flights. Okay, and the last one. They're going to the drugstore. Yes. To buy some, to buy some travel size. Shall it tries? Toiletries. Toiletries. There. Very good. Next. Mm -hmm. Number two, imagine you're going to Australia for a vacation. Write sentences using the cues given. Okay. I'd like to get tickets to the Sydney Opera House to see a concert. Okay, okay. next, number three. We're going, we're going to fly to get out back to walking. Oh, again, one more time. Is we're going to or we're, we're going fly? Hmm. So we have here, we are going fly. So two verbs together. No. How is it? What do you think? I think as we're going to fly to the yeah. outback. Yes. Continue. To go walking and 
the number four, I'd like I like to visit Tasmania to see some friends. And five, I need to go online to find some cheap hotels. Six, we want to go shopping to buy some opal jewelry. Very good. Next, complete the questions in the online forum, then answer the questions with true information about your own city. Okay. Is it important to bring a guidebook? Answer, yes, it is. And it's also useful to bring a phrasebook. Okay, the number two, is it safe to carry cash? Is that a question or a sentence? A uh, question. Is it, is, is it safe to carry cash? Yeah. And answer, um, yes, it is. And it's easy to take a carry cash. To take a carry cash? Or find? It's yes, it is, and it's easy to find a carry cash. Carry is a verb. Really? Yeah, it's a verb. I carry, you carry, she carries. Oh my god, I don't know. Okay. Um uh, carry. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, is it safe to carry cash? Carry in Spanish, in Spanish is llevar. Yeah. Ah, okay, 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 okay. And no, it's not. How do you say delincuencia? Crime rate. Crime rate? Crime rate. Crime rate? Yeah. Crime rate. Crime rate. Oh, okay, crime rate. And the answer is not, it's not because uh, there are a lot of crime rate. There, there is a lot of yes. crime. Uh, there is, yes, there is a lot of crime, crime. rate. Crime. Crime, okay. And the number three, is it expensive to rent a car? One more time. Is it expensive to rent a car? Can you type it? Yes. Teacher, can, can you, you see my answer? Yes. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Awesome. All right, let's continue. Okay. 
Is it expensive? Rent a car. This is incorrect. Can you check it, please? Is it expensive? Rent a car. Okay, is it expensive to rent a car? Yes. Okay. And not, it's not depend your city? It depends. It depends your city? It depends on your city. On your city. Three. Okay. The number four is it easy to find cheap restaurants? Yes, it is, but in my town is very easy to find cheap restaurants. Okay, very good. Uh, number five uh, is it hard to get around? Um, get around. Get around. Um, yes, it it is because the city is big. Okay. Um, the number of seats, is it necessary to make a hotel reservations? Again, one more time. Is it necessary to make hotel reservations? Mm -hmm. It's correct? Yeah, it's correct. Okay. Uh, the answer, Maybe is um, not is not because there are not there are not much turistas. I don't know how to say it because Tourist. the pandemic tourist. Tourist. Okay. And no, it's not because there are not. There are not much. Many. Many, yes. Many tourists because the pandemic. Yes. Okay. Next. Can you write all the uh, names, please? Okay.
Okay, there you go. So you have number one, a tent, two, flashlight, uh, three, toothbrush, hair dryer, scissors, and I don't know. Okay. Number two, three, and four are incomplete. And six, number five is correct but number six is incorrect. What you're missing, number two uh, is- A flashlight, a toothbrush, and a hair dryer. And number six is- A razor? Yes, a razor. There, okay? Okay. Next. Circle the correct words and complete the sentence. When you go on a trip, you need to take a toothbrush and toothpaste to clean your teeth. Yes, so the answer is? Toothpaste. Okay, now what you gotta do is do the other ones, please. Now, two to nine, please. Okay, number two is sunscreen. Number three, pajamas. And four, uh, shampoo, five, a sleeping bag, six. Oh, okay. Okay, okay.
All right, let's check it out. So number one, I'm sorry, number two, use sunscreen. Very good. Don't forget to take pajamas. Most hotels have shampoo if you need to wash your hair. When you go camping, you need a sleeping bag. Yes. Many hotels don't have a razor. Yes, that's good. Always take a first aid kit. It's important to take batteries and wear sandals. Yes, there you go. Perfect. Good job, Danny. Oh, number 10. Oh, very good. Okay. Um, I always wear it's a repellent if there are insects and mosquitoes. Yes. Repeat, insect repellent. Insect repellent. Yes, there you go, thank you. Next, I think you should. So we have six, seven, eight, eight sentences. So circle the correct words to complete the advice. Then add your own advice in the spaces below. So the first thing you have to do is circle the correct words. So number one, when you're going hiking in the mountains this weekend, I'm sorry, we are going hiking in the mountains this weekend. What should we take? Well, you should take insect repellent and the first aid kit. So that's the first thing you have to do, circle the correct word. And then you have to write a complete sentence. You want to wear good hiking boots too. Yes? Easy. Number one, circle. Okay. Number two, write a complete sentence. Okay? Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Go do from two to six only.
All right, let's take a look at your answers. Well, number one, I'm sorry, number two, we're going skiing for the first time next month. You know, it's easy to get a sunburn. Don't forget to use sunscreen. Very good. So first I'm going to erase the one that we don't need. And that is really good. Don't forget to use sunscreen. Very good. Then just say, you should buy an umbrella for the sun. An umbrella. An umbrella. An umbrella. Okay. There. Next, number three. I want to go backpacking in Asia on my next vacation. Then you need to pack a lot of light clothes. Very good. Now let's erase the one we don't need. The answer is not good. <laughs> Don't forget to have a reservation. Hmm. It's backpacking. Yes. Right. So, no, this is not good. Okay. Next, my mother and I are planning a shopping trip in Hong Kong. Then you really should take an empty suitcase with you. Oh, very nice. So, let's erase this one. There. That's okay for me. No, this is not correct either. Okay, let's check again one more time. Number two, you know it's easy to get a sunburn. Don't forget to use sunscreen. You should buy an umbrella for the sun. Yes, it's a good suggestion. It's a good advice. But the next one, this advice doesn't have to do with the trip. It's a different type of advice. But it's advice. This is not advice. Okay. And the number three, the answer is you need to have a first aid kit. Mm, yeah, yeah. You do have take it is good. There. And number four. This is not an advice. So that's incorrect. So we can say, teacher, what is yeah. empty? Empty, the opposite of full. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, what would you like to say? You Maybe, okay? Next to number five is my friend's birthday on Friday. She's planning an all night party. In that case, to take, oh, so close. This is incorrect. And the correct sentence. She's sick? 
Yes. Okay. I think is to take but. Okay, take. Okay. That sounds great. I need to buy a lot of pizzas for the party. That's not a suggestion. And number six. Very good. Why don't you take a flashlight? Very nice. And the advice is good advice. It's perfect. Don't forget the tent. The other problem is number five. Can you do number five again? Maybe you could buy cheap pajamas. But you already said pajamas. Oh, I'm sorry, there are already pajamas here. So something else. You should buy a lot of pizzas yeah that's good one. for the well, yeah. party yes and now seven and eight really seven and eight <laughs> <laughs> yes okay Finish teacher. Okay. Let's take a look. You shouldn't forget to take comfortable shoes and don't forget to take comfortable clothes. Uh, at least. 
I'm studying dance. You could borrow Jujitsu shoes. You need to find a job. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, thank you. Travel suggestions. Give some advice to a tourist on vacation in your country. Complete the sentences with your own ideas. Okay. Where do you live, Danny? Um, I write my answers. Mm, yes, write your answers. Where do you live? I live in a town. What's the name of the town? I live in Tosco Viejo. A tourist is visiting. Like that? Yes. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, you're okay.
Okay. It's a great idea to visit a Kong Kong. It's a beautiful place. Perfect. You could buy cheap food in the supermarkets. Yes. You shouldn't take walking. You shouldn't take walking. Yeah, I think what you're trying to say is take a walk. What? Or you shouldn't walk. Is that what you're trying to say? You shouldn't walk at night? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, you shouldn't walk at night. Yes, it's my uh, house. Why didn't you visit this time with your family? Okay. And you should eat in the different restaurants. Their food is delicious. Perfect. Good job, Danny. Thank you. Now, It's a great idea. Responding to suggestions. Who really likes each suggestion? Circle A or B. Let's go out for sushi tomorrow. Now, the question is, who likes the suggestion? In number one, A likes the suggestion. What about number two? Uh, maybe someday. So this person likes the suggestion. No, the suggestion is I'd love to and when. No, it's not the suggestion. The suggestion is this: we should go hiking together sometime. The question is. Who likes the suggestion? Who likes it? A or B? Me, letter B. No. Maybe. Is maybe uh, I like this, the idea? No, 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 no. Okay, I don't understand. I like to do when. I love to when. Number three. Dance sounds like fun. What do you want to see? Four. And for letter A, dance sounds like a good idea. And number five? I'd like to, but dance is just an idea. Let's do it. Okay, next, that sounds great. Write two responses to each suggestion. Write a response to show you like the suggestion. Then write a response to show you don't like it. So you have to write two different suggestions. One, you like the idea. Two, you don't like the idea. Yes, is that clear? Yes, it's clear. All right, go ahead. Numbers two, three, four, and five. Okay, teacher.
English teacher. Okay, let's check it out. We could take a semester off from school and go backpacking. It is a great idea. Where? Okay. I don't know. I like to study. <laughs> Very good. Why do we go snorkeling sometimes? That sounds great. Don't forget your equipment. Mm. Yes, it's a good suggestion, but it's we. We go. So here it has to be. In, our in don't forget our maybe you can say let's not forget the equipment okay right yes. okay next is I love, we should go camping next week, next spring. I'd love to, comma. I want to go to a Canadian forest. Yes? Okay. Um, okay. I'd, this, this I has to be capital. Capital A, I like to, comma. But I have to study to pass my exams. Okay? Why don't we just stay home, watch TV, and relax over the winter break? That's a great idea. I'm going to have a pizza for these days. Oh, man, pizza sounds good. Maybe, comma, but I have to work, period. I need the money to buy my house. Oh, wow, that's a good plan. Good job, Danny. All right. And I guess. Circle the correct use of I guess. There is only one in each sentence. Cross out the other ones. Example. Here on, on the first, I'm sorry, on the first line, there are two I guess. But only one is correct. And this is incorrect. So circle the correct one and cross out the incorrect one, please. Yes, teacher, but I don't you understand this word. Uh, no. I guess I, I, I guess is when you're not 100% sure. Okay, yes, teacher.
Are you finished? Yes, I think. One more time. Cross out the others. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yes, yes, I'm Cross sorry. Out the others. Okay, let's check it out. So on the first one, I guess it should, yes. And what happened with this? That's not a circle or a cross. Okay, so how can I do this? Okay, only with green. All right, so this one is good. This is correct. This is correct. This is not correct. 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 Perfect. Perfect. That's right. Oh, no. This is incorrect and this is incorrect. So three incorrect, only three. One, two, and three. Yes, then. Okay, teacher. All right. And we're almost finished. Yes. Only this. Let's see a movie and struggle with the questions and write your own and responses. First, the questions. Only the questions. Okay, thank you.
finish. Perfect, Danny. Very good. Why don't we try to the beach? Yes. Let's visit my grandmother this weekend. Why don't we go camping in the mountains? We could go to Europe for a couple of weeks and they want to meet my parents. All right, perfect. We're finished for today. We'll continue tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Now, this Thank was you. only, only <laughs> homework, but only you. No yes, yes. <laughs> I'm That's tired. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Danny. How was the class? It's very, very interesting and funny. <laughs> That's good. All right. Well, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. No homework today. Bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Bye, Danny.